September 11th, what I remember is the shock, the pain of having lost fellow brothers and sisters in blue, and also the firefighters. The loss that came with uh, that day was overwhelming. Even though that happened on the East Coast, we felt it immensely here in Corpus Christi. It made everyone more aware of how terrorism can creep in and make an impact on any location. And so it made all of us feel a sense of that we weren't as safe as we thought we were. Way back when, there was a security zone set up by the Coast Guard, but it was never enforced. It was just kind of an area that everyone knew was here, but there was not a lot of emphasis put on that. After 9-11, it changed the entire posture. DHS stood up. All the 33 CFR through Coast Guard was enforced. The security posture became unbelievable, and rightfully so. Port of Corpus Christi since 9-11 has upgraded security measures. We have patrol boats in the water, we have officers on land, cameras that can zoom in from great distances. If we have a perceived threat, we have a command center and detect on whether or not we need to investigate it further or not. We have a security zone. Anytime anybody comes close to the security zone, if it's a boat, they could be half a mile away and we can quickly zoom in to that boat. We're able to quickly analyze that and make a determination on whether or not we'll uh, dispatch our patrol boat to that area. One of the things that is so viable about the Port of Corpus Christi and the Port Police Department is we've never forgotten about what our mission is. We know that we are the energy hub, not only of the United States, but across the world. We have one officer permanently assigned to the FBI, so he works for the Joint Terrorism Task Force. We have our partnership with local agencies, CCPD and even CCFD, which is Corpus Christi Fire Department, Corpus Christi Police Department, DHS, Coast Guard, to name a few. So we are a layered approach to the security measures that we provide for the port. There's a continuous interaction with all. There's a networking, and that's the only way we can do what we do. It's extremely important for people to realize that security is truly a team effort. Not only the port employees, but our industry partners and everyday citizens, they understand that the threat is real, and we are the ones on the front line to stop it.